Right. Okay. So, thank you for allowing me to go to the next puzzle by solving... Having a conscious effort at solving that puzzle. What's this now? Finding things a little Oh, that's the pun, isn't it? Oh. That's uh, one of these sliding puzzles. God. Oh, hello. Hello, sailor. Uh-huh. Nothing ever seems to slide into place in this place. Huh. I get it. Uh -huh. If I plan to get around this grate, I'll need to get around. Thanks for that. What? Mm. You know, I like it when games are cryptic, but not when you're literally just saying the same words. <laughs> that was not helpful at all. Uh, right then. I think what I'm trying to do here is... is Hmm, what am I trying to do, actually? I was just sliding things around for no reason. Oh, I get it. I think I'm doing this. I want to get the spikes to hit that... No, I'm not, actually. I think I got it. Right? No? Uh-huh, so the spikes come up. And... I don't know, okay, I think what I'm trying to do is get this slot here down the bottom so those spikes don't come up and um, do very delicate things to my genitals. So, mm -hmm. if I move that around now. Surely that's enough there, isn't it? Oh, that worked. How did it feel to be the first living thing how to set foot on these dungeons? Hmm. I can't remember how long. <laughs> He's a lovely man, Henry Stoff, really. Oh, oh, good, you're back again. You know, I really didn't miss you the first time around, to be honest. Wonderful. So, I get the feeling this is a maze. I don't know what's there. Uh, Ah, uh, yes. I know what this maze is. We Adam mentioned this the first time around. The carpet up, or the throw rug, whatever it is, um, is supposedly the solution to this. So, I have to get to the center of this place. So I'm sure this is going to be completely inconvenient. Because <clears throat> I can't remember now where it is. Oh. I don't think I can get out now. That's nice. Huh. You know, if I was... Right would have been a safer choice. Thanks for that. I don't think this is that... That's a... Feeling lonely. If you're gonna... If you're gonna bum me, then I... <laughs> okay, I think I'm fine. You know, if this was made in the modern era, this would have a jump scare in it, but I don't think they were thinking that much ahead in the... Ah, yes. <laughs> okay. Alright, that, that that is this game's jump scare, as he just goes, Hello, matron. Or whatever the... Ah. Uh, you gotta love this. You'll never find your way out of here. Well, I'm trying... have tried. Ooh. You know, if this is how the ethnic died, I'm okay with that. Hello. Yes. Um, yeah, looks like we're making progress here. Oh no! <laughs> you son of a bitch! You lulled me into a false sense of security. Oh, you fucking cretin, you. It was such a build-up to that as well. We went around the tight corner. I was getting my hopes up that there'll be another corner. No, it was just a fucking dead end. Arsehole. <laughs> Is it going to be another one? I'll know from the music. No? Okay. Right. So, let's go left this time. Okay, the music has changed. Uh-huh. 
Right, so I've got open right this time. Mm, let's try right. Although I love that this is this this is the um, creator's idea of horror is just to mildly inconvenience me into a maze. Here we go. <laughs> this is such a long way around. All right. Uh, let's try this way. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm back. Lonely. I, to be fair, like. I, you can say what you want about jump scares, but just having to listen to the sound clip and wait for it to finish. That's punishment enough for you fucking up. I, I, that's in my opinion, at least. Alright, let's go this way. Is that it? Not? Yeah, okay. Alright, I know where I am now. <laughs> I'm not going to get tired of that. It's just... <laughs> I'm not feeling lonely. You've just inconvenienced me by putting me in a wall. And by the way, the jump scare, if there was one in this game, would definitely be the floating head of Henry Staff just going, Ooh, I'm a scary ghost. I've killed a woman. Okay, let's go left this time. I don't know if I'm going back in circles or not now. You see, this is where I... Sh if I was thinking ahead, I would have like gone back to the uh, puzzle upstairs and... Uh, Looked at the rug because that's where right would have been a safer choice. Okay. Fuck you, stuff. <laughs> if this is what you call safe, then uh, well, yeah, I guess. Unless uh, unless all the other guests. You will never find your way out of here. Others have tried. And died. Ooh, how exciting. Died of boredom, presumably, because they get tired of you literally saying the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Alright. Feeling lonely. No. I mean, I have you for good company, anyway, because, uh, as you can see, you're a great conversation piece. I don't know why I'm sass in this game when it's like fucking 20 years old anyway. But there you go. Things to amuse my brain. Now, those two are dead ends, right? So I have to go back that way. No, fucking hell! Click the wrong side. Oh, joys of FMV games. Yes, that's right. We'll just go the opposite direction of what you asked. Let's try that again, shall we? Because our character has no sense of direction whatsoever. And no wonder he's lost in the fucking catacombs. Okay. Uh, I think I went this way last time. Yeah. And this is the way out. I think I went the same way. Yeah. This is the long way down. So I have to go straight. Down. And it's probably going to be dead in now as well. <laughs> I'm probably in a loop here as well, come to think of it. That, that sounds like something this game would do. It probably is a loop, actually. Fucking hell. Yes, more whimsical music. I'm just turn right this time to see if I'm going anywhere. Okay, I'm back to, back to this place again. Huh. Okay, did I get the... Is that the same one? No, it's not. Oh, develop... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Son of a bitch. Ah. Say what you want about Henry Staff, but he knows how to frustrate his guests looking for some fucking wine in the cellar. Feeling lonely, the port is on the opposite side. Like, imagine so. Imagine if you went to this place the first time and you genuinely thought the wine cellar was down here. Like, the first death could very well have been accidental. He's just not very good at entertaining guests, is Henry. Then he just went and fuck it, the police are going to be after me, I might as well kill more guests. 
In for a penny, in for a pound. Oh, sorry. In for a penny, in for a pound. This definitely seems like a loop, so... Go down this way. The crux of this is definitely to... I think I'm gone. No? It's not a... Um... Oh, hello. This is new. Have I stumbled across the solution? I hope not. Alright, this is definitely... This is definitely... Oh, fuck off! <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh, boy. Um, I wonder if it can the map help me out here. <laughs> oh, that's handy. Grand. Okay, that was that was convenient. It was very convenient. Thank you. I don't know if that was intentional, but I'm just gonna go with it. So, first things first. Let's go back upstairs and solve that. Um, I guess bishop puzzle. I know that that was supposed to be like really dramatic music, by the way. But because it's in MIDI, I can't take it seriously. <laughs> You, those are the days when nobody had orchestras. You just had to make up little tunes by yourself. Right, here we go. Ah, oh, come on. You know, this really isn't inconvenient at all. So if I want to go up the stairs, I have to go towards the door first, then turn around. Fucking... Joys of FMV technology, folks. All right, let's move around. Let's go up these stairs. I'm gonna try and remember which room I was in as well. And there's a lot of rooms in this building, and all of them are identical as well. Okay, that was a funny-looking picture. I okay, I don't know why. What does what does teeth represent? Do you do you want to eat the painting? I don't know. Let's let's talk to the painting. Yes, that's a that's a thing that us ghosts can do. Now, I think that was the games room, wasn't it? So I think I went out this room. No, okay, this is a new room, and we have something oh, here. This is all so beautiful. Oh, it's the matron, or the Felicity, as I called it last time. Just like the bed I used to have. Where's she off to? Now she's. Mm, she seemed distracted by something here. Yes. She did. <coughs> Aha! What? I have beautiful hair. Once, I was young. Ooh. Oh, yes. Young. That's what I want to be again. Young. Oh. Oh, yes. I do appear to be free for this dance. Thank you. The fuck is going on? The f right, okay. Why is there? I thought someone was. Okay, see, so she. That was apparently how she died. She apparently went back in time, regressed. Did a Benjamin Button, whatever you want to call it. That was, um, that was a bit tragic, I guess. What do we have here? These are all photograph photos of old people. So that was, um, okay, so we know that one person definitely, it, it's implied at least, that they died in this room. And that was what happened to the 
to the old lady, Felicity. Oh, well, that was um, that was a bit sad, wasn't it? I don't think there's any puzzles in here either. I think it was just to go in and see that. So I'm trying to um, rotate around this room trying to find anything, but I don't think there is any puzzles in here. That was just uh, that was just plot. That was just actual physical plot that happened. Maybe that means that all the other ones have died. If it makes sense, really, they're all looking like ghosts. It's very hard to see. it's it's um it's very hard to see actually with these uh with this new big TV or computer monitor. Uh, ah yes. Uh, did I? Okay, sorry. I got distracted there by doors. Um, you'll see it. Everything's gone very pixelated, obviously, because um they comp everything was compressed to fuck back then, and um even. On source, on CD, everything looks very kind of grainy and see-through. And the reason for that was um, they actually kind of ballsed up the green screen technology at the time. And all the characters had this kind of grainy, again, this kind of see-through, ghosty, ghostly feel to it. Um, which was, I guess, uh, in keeping with the theme. I don't know if that really tied into how the game was made in the end. But uh, oh, a little, little interesting tidbit about the game, I found. So, I'm trying to find that room now where the um, the carpet, the throw rug. I keep saying carpet when <laughs> I obviously don't mean that. This is the rose. Um, I don't think there's any, there wasn't anything else in this room, I don't think. I'm sure if there is, uh, my <coughs> attention will be directed to it. So, if memory serves, I think we moved on to the next part. And this. That's a room as well. Try that. Aha, yes. Now yeah, my memory serves me. So is there anything in this room I can go into? Right, let's try that. Okay. So I'm gonna try to get into the center. Where am exactly am I trying to go? That's the thing. Oh yes. So I, I, it's very hard to tell on this monitor because again everything is very pixelated, but just where the my brain is here, that's where I'm entering. So it looks like I'm going straight down. It seems, yeah, because that's a dead end there. Uh, it looks like I'm going down to perhaps they say the first, 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 third, fourth, fifth junction. Yes, this guy here. Almost towards the end. Oh shit, I was closer than I thought I was. That was the long, really long one that almost broke me. So, I want to go up here. I'm going to turn right, and then turn right, and then turn right. So that's why he was saying you'd be safe if you turn right, because there's fucking probably nothing but right turns in this. So, there. So we have a right turn, a right turn, a right turn, and then that little, this little hairpin that should bring me then right, up. Right, yeah, it's, it's nothing but right turns then. Because then, you go right there, all around, all around, right turn. Yeah, so I, it, he, was, he was right in what he was saying. It's nothing but right turns. So that's handy. Um, so, I'll try next next time I'm down there to, uh, to recoup that, and I'll take a picture of it as well. Because uh, the best way to beat old puzzles is with new technology. As opposed to looking up a walkthrough. <laughs> um, right. Let's try and solve this guy now again. 